So I watched a movie today. Hello everyone, it's nice to see you again. We're all in self-isolation, and so I figured now would be a good time to start doing these again. Mainly to protect my own sanity. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about The Naked Gun. It's a comedy film that you can find on Netflix now, uh, starring Leslie Nielsen and uh, Ricardo Montalban. The movie is uh, more of a parody of police an inspector, film noir, all that kind of stuff. As you requested, Frank, we took some fiber samples from Nordberg's jacket. I'm afraid it doesn't look good. What do you mean? Take a look for yourself. Wait, I can't see anything. Use your open eye, Frank. We follow Leslie Nielsen's character throughout the story. It's all about him uncovering this massive plot by uh, Ricardo Montalban to kill the Queen of England. The whole movie is just a wonderful farcical comedy full of puns, uh, visual gags, and just straight up absurd filmmaking. It, it's very much, it came out in the same time frame as like Airplane. And to give you a reference of a more common film uh, that a lot of people know that is filmed in the same style, with the same style of comedy. But uh, this one is more a parody of, instead of disaster films like Airplane, it focuses more on uh, film noir and detective storytelling. And meanwhile, the whole time, pretty much the rest of the movie is filmed as a serious kind of drama. But every time Leslie Nielsen is on the screen, the best way I can describe it is he's like a chaos god. Things just follow him around uh, that are chaotic. Like in one scene, he backs his car uh, into the uh, little luggage train that they have at airports. Um, and he drags it all the way to the hospital where he's going to see his friend. The movie opens with uh, a scene in Beirut with all these different world terrorist leaders and all that have come together and they're trying to figure out how they're going to show America that they are powerful. And then Leslie Nielsen kicks all their hind ends. Hey, who are you? I'm Lieutenant Frank Drebin, police squad. And don't ever let me catch you guys in America. It's great. It's wonderful. It's the most absurdly wonderful scene I think I've ever witnessed. Uh, it goes from there into the opening titles of the movie, which, you know, the opening titles for the old cop films and all that, it would have, like, a camera right behind the lights on the car where you could see the lights going off right about here and the action of chasing someone down the road just right here in the middle of the frame. Well, with this one... It had the cop light right in the middle, uh, right about here on the screen. Right about here. And then all the action taking place here, just like you would expect. It starts with it going through the streets like a regular cop film. And then it goes inside a house. <laughs> it goes in a house, chases people around the house. <laughs> then it goes through a locker room. Um, at a gym, and it's chasing people through there, and then it ends up on a roller coaster, which I find just absolutely strange and wonderful. It's the perfect opening for a movie of this style. It has super dramatic death scenes in the movie, which are just hilariously wonderful. Uh, the main death scene, death scene, he's still alive, uh, is Nordberg, who is played by O.J. Simpson. And uh, he busts into this big room full of, uh, full of bad guys. Please! Throw down 
on your guns. Leslie Nielsen comes back um, from his vacation to Peru, and um, he finds out that his friend is in the hospital, goes to see him, and uh, starts uncovering this mystery on uh, this plot that ends up with the Queen of England visiting, and they have to try to save her life from being assassinated by these people under the employee of Ricardo Montalban. It is absurd and wonderful. Uh, it turns all of the tropes at, to 11. It's great. I think one of my favorite things in the movie is, uh, you know, that beautiful dame. Uh, she shows up in this beautiful red dress it is gorgeous. It's the it's the scene that you expect from a film noir. And uh, she trips down the stairs. It's just wonderful and strange. And I think everyone should take time while we're all self-isolated to check it out. It's on Netflix, The Naked Gun.